Oh, hey, welcome to the XC Expert YouTube edition. If you want to watch more XC Expert videos, check out our series on IWA.com. But for now, I'm going to answer. Oh, I'm Dan Danowski. I should probably have said that at the beginning, but it's too late. Time moves inexorably forward and we can do nothing but press on. So today's question is from Jason, who's standing five feet away. He's right over there. Hey, Dan, what's the difference between SEER and EER? So SEER and EER are energy efficiency ratings for uh, heating and cooling equipment. SEER stands for Seasonal Energy Efficiency Ratio and ER stands for Energy Efficiency Ratio. Okay, so like why use one and not the other? Okay, most stuff is rated according to SEER. Like if you go to our website on IWA.com or if you go to any other, you know, HVAC reseller online, you're gonna see air conditioners and heat pumps rated according to SEER, right? SEER is an efficiency rating for like how efficient overall they're gonna be over the whole heating season or cooling season for sear it has nothing to do with heating sorry okay so like what's my average efficiency going to be over the summer well that's your sear rating um and the higher is better right you want like you know as high a sear as you can afford to get because the higher sear you got the better efficiency you're going to have and you're going to not spend as much on cooling and if you're in a place with you know more expensive electricity and it's hot and you're going to use your air conditioner a lot then you know getting a high sear unit can pay off if you live somewhere like minnesota and uh they don't even have summer there it's just a thing they call summer but it's not like a real summer then you don't need so high efficiency equipment because you're not gonna you're gonna run it like an hour and a half on july 1st and then you need your furnace after the 15th so yeah, an ER is just, uh, it's a more, you know, I guess baseline energy efficiency ratio. Uh, so most equipment you're gonna see SEER and EER. And uh, you know, there is like a mathematical way to like calculate SEER and the EER and how that works, but it's really complicated. So I'm not gonna do it right now because I don't wanna. Anyway, uh, most equipment you're going to see a SEER and an EER rating and some for something like Energy, Energy Star, uh, equipment would need to have a high SEER and a high EER. So like uh, something might have a high SEER, but if it has a lower EER, then it won't be Energy Star certified and you might not be able to get 300 bucks for it from the government for tax incentive and stuff. Okay, bye. Oh, hey, do you have questions about SEER or EER or APSF or COP or HRTV or HGTV? Then just ask it in the comments below. Okay, bye.